every other day. Another vlog. Shout out to Jess and Gabriel. This is our our version. Our of it. version of it. Uh, we just went to the gym. Now I'm super pumped because we're going to the beach. And there I'm gonna show off my new games. Wow, look at that. Conejo. <laughs> what? So now we're on our way to the second closest beach in Merida. To Merida. From Merida? Uh, <laughs> which is called Cizae. Right now it's already almost 3 p.m. So we're going a little bit late. And the reason is because I'm traveling with a man that's as white as cheese. <laughs> And we don't want him to get a sunburn. No. And going in the morning and exactly at 12 is never a good idea. Last time that Danny got sunburned was here in Cancun and it ruined like three days of the trip because he looked super red and he was not having a good time. So we're not letting that happen again. Never again. Until the next time. <laughs> We arrived in Cisal. It took pretty much exactly one hour to get here from Merida. It's now 3.40 p.m. I think since it's already afternoon, we should eat something first before we go into the water. Pause. Pause. This is what I ordered, pasta with salmon. And just ordered the kids menu. Yeah, nuggets, <laughs> chicken nuggets. No, because I didn't feel that great this morning and I was throwing off even on the way here. So I didn't want to prove anything to anyone. I hope this is the safest choice I could have gone today. All right. Fingers crossed. We're done with lunch. So now we're getting to the beach. I'm excited to see the water because what I've seen in photos is that the water is greener than in Cancun or Tulum, for example. There's something I already noticed, is that there is no sargasso. So by the way, the road to Cisal from Merida was pretty good. It was mostly on the highway. Sometimes we went through villages and even in the villages, the streets were pretty good. So I was surprised to see that. Okay, first impressions. First impressions is there's no seaweed here, but the water looks more muddy. I don't know how to explain it. You know what I would call it? Baltic sea water. It's European beach water. <laughs> European beach water. This is what you can find. I'm gonna vlog like vagabond. But this is what you can find in German beaches. Baltic Sea, North Sea. By the way, it's 40... 40? <laughs> what? That'd be yeah. crazy. It's 37 degrees today. And we asked the waitress if in summer it gets hotter because right now it's April. And she said, no, this is the hottest. And then she said, welcome to hell. <laughs> and left. Great. Uh, look, there's somebody doing paddleboard. Paddleboard, nice. nice. Guys, you can't believe how crazy hot it's in the sun. It's probably a stupid idea to be here right now. Yeah. Well, it's already like five. Yes. Four, four or five p.m. And it's still so hot. I feel like my skin is burning just by sitting here in the sun. And when we were in the restaurant in the shade, I was sweating by I, doing nothing. I am sweating the whole time, dude. Yeah. It feels like Vegas. Oh. Are we in Vegas? What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, okay. if you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm scared that my camera is gonna overheat. You should put it somewhere else. Just is ready to go into the ocean? I have to put sunscreen in my booty. You want me to do it? Oh, I can do it myself. Okay. So the sun is hidden behind a cloud and we're enjoying life right now. It feels so much better. <laughs> oh, it's incredible now. <laughs> I love it. Yes! <laughs> <Six eyes. laughs> the sun is a little lower now and it feels nicer. 
As long as I'm next to you, it's always hot. Great. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Whoa, there was a horse behind us. I don't know if you could see it. Okay, so for those of you that have never heard from Cizal, which is very likely, this is a very small town, very close to Merida, here in Yucatan. And it was recently named a Pueblo Magico from Mexico. So like a cool touristy place that the government recognizes, yeah. right? Here you're gonna find an amazing huge beach. You're gonna find the mangroves where you can do some kayaking, snorkeling. You can go on a boat trip or you can ride a, a horse. horse. <laughs> <laughs> the main reason why we came here to Cizal is because we saw a bunch of ads of real estate projects where they want to build really fancy and luxurious apartments and villas right at the beach, either in or next to Cizal. They look pretty awesome, I have to say. And they reminded us a lot of the buildings you can find in Tulum, like the Tulum vibe buildings. Yeah, Boho Echo Chic. Echo Chic. Boutique. That's <laughs> what <laughs> so we thought. Is this gonna become the new Tulum? What? Thumbnail. And now we're here and we haven't seen any construction happening. <laughs> so maybe we were scammed. <laughs> what? We, we fell for fake news. No. <laughs> fake, fake ads. No, I don't know. We're gonna continue walking. Let's see if we find something. Uh, until now, I can say that this place is super charming. It's very different than what I had in mind. I already expected it to be very touristy because it already became a Pueblo Magico in Mexico, which is like touristic places. And on YouTube, the videos about Cesar get a lot of views, so mm -hmm. it seems to be a popular place. But uh, somehow, it doesn't seem to be. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're, it's pretty empty, the beach right now, and we haven't seen any foreigners. So at least foreigner tourists haven't arrived here yet. Yes, which might be good because we also read that some locals don't want Cizal to become this touristy place. Mm -hmm. They say they already don't have enough energy or electricity, or water. That, which is the same thing. Water. Energy. Water or electricity in this town for themselves. And imagine how it's gonna become if there are thousands of tourists coming. I don't even know if it would be a good idea for it to become like Tulum. Yeah, not even Tulum it's, is a perfect place. No, not even Tulum is a perfect place. <laughs> no, it's definitely not a perfect place. Yeah, Tulum still has a long way to go. Tulum sucks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Some things about Tulum <laughs> suck, okay? Tulum in general doesn't suck. <laughs> now, if you want to come to Cizal, I would say it's worth it for like a day, a day yeah, trip. A day trip from Merida. You can just lay on the beach. There's not that much more to do, but there's a lot of tours that apparently take you to the mangroves and cool places like that. If you want to do that, consciously taking care of the environment and all of that then that could be a cool option but we just laid on the beach yes and cooked because it was so <laughs> very warm in the sun like a fried egg <laughs> now we're gonna watch the sunset here at the beach um they said it's an amazing spot and it already looks super cool and we're gonna show you that's pretty awesome because apparently you can see the sunset here and you should be able to see the sunrise here as well really above the ocean yeah wow Come to Cizal, everybody! Yeah, this is the place to be! The next Tulum! We can <laughs> do it! <laughs> do you know what these are? <gasps> oh my god, I just saw the color! <laughs> ah, I'm so excited! <laughs> flamingos! It's flamingos, guys! Oh my god, that's so cool! Cizal is a place to be, y'all! <laughs> We're making it viral. Come here. Oh my gosh. Tulum. Who wants Tulum, bro? Cizal is a place to be. Oh my gosh. I'm going into the ocean now. Go. Face us. Wow. Wow. I 
saw a bunch of seaweed in the water. Really? Cesar is not the place to be. Not at all. I think we're the only ones that are tourists here because we're the only ones that are excited about the flamingos. <laughs> Nobody cares, dude. Flamingo! With our big camera there. <laughs> Tourist mode on. Totally. Yannick, I have... It's cool though. I have bad news for you. Tell me. So there are some kids here next to us. And when you were there with the camera, they said something. And they said, Allá donde está el señor. And they pointed at you. Are you kidding me? You shouldn't have told me that. <laughs> so sad, dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay, these kids, these girls have been around us for the last 30 minutes and now <laughs> laughing and giggling and now they wrote YouTube question mark into the sand a bunch of times and on our one of them I wrote yes and now they looked at it and they were so excited they were jumping up and down. <laughs> And they don't even know who we are. No, they don't have no idea. Maybe they think we have millions of followers. Which we don't, sadly. So shoot, so subscribe. Yeah. Subscribe to this channel, please. <laughs> what does that mean? My beast? Mr. Beast? Mr. Beast. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, that's who we are. And we put a heart there. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> and now they're like, Justin Yannick? Who are those guys? <laughs> 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 Bye. Yes. <laughs> it was funny. We have fun girls, and they didn't even know who we were. No. <laughs> okay, so we're leaving the beach now, and we're gonna drive around to see if we can find any of these Eco Chic Boho complexes. There's Yannick, and here's the main plaza. No, not plaza. This is the main hall. <laughs> With lights, looks pretty. I'm pretty sure at night looks very nice. Look, some of the things you can do in Cisal. Go to some tours or chill on the beach like us. That's what we saw today. So, this is how the streets look like around Cisal. Jocelyn? Yeah, Uber for Jocelyn. Okay. Look, those are the taxis here. We're still looking for the buildings. So this looks like maybe this is gonna lead to the area where they want to build all of those fancy buildings. I read about the project online where they want to build 200 lots for people to build their own houses, villas, whatever they want to build there. 200 lots all the way at the beach. Look here, the building. Yeah. So I think oh, this is going to be it. Two houses. <laughs> That's the new Tulum. <laughs> no, I think all of this it's gonna be full of buildings at one point. Look, there's already... No. Is that an entrance? I don't even know what that is. Yeah, an entrance to the two houses. <laughs> at least there's one difference to Tulum. They already have a street with asphalt. <laughs> <laughs> and without batches. We found some buildings at the beach. Oh yeah, so now we've seen the area. You probably cannot see me anymore because it's too dark. That means we're gonna turn around now and we're going back home. So we made it home and it's already pretty dark outside. If you've ever been to Zizal or you're planning on going, let us know in the comments down below. And we'll see you very soon, hopefully every second day or third or fourth because this is more challenging than we expected. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but subscribe to this channel and we'll see you soon.
Okay.